this. You know, I want to say this, and I ain't, I ain't going to keep saying this. It's going to be my last time saying this. You know, so if any new people come on here and see me say, uh, hear what I'm talking about and haven't seen me saying this, so be it. Go back and check my other shows. But this will be the last time I say this. I'm against, you know, officers, right, who do horrific crimes to anybody, you know. Right. Especially the black and brown that they're talking about right now. But this is my thing right here. It's horrific and it's wrong. You know. But BLM, they want to jump out and talk about this. You know, which is a horrific because a couple of white officers, a couple of white officers, did harm to black and brown individuals, right? And I'm not mad about that. But why don't I see none of you BLMs or all you people who so fight the power? You know, out here in the streets, when these black and brown people are killing each other at a high rate, innocent children getting killed, not able to play outside because people are driving by. Why ain't BLM making a big case about that? Get into it. So, New Orleans police are investigating the killing of a nine year old boy in the street shooting that also wounded two teens, 13 and 15. Police said the young boy was the victim Monday afternoon of the census violence that has escalated in the city for the past month. Fox 8 New Orleans reported. Again, this is unnecessary, this is unfortunate, and most importantly, this is disheartening for us as a community to accept a boy who has not lived his life yet to be killed today on the streets of New Orleans. Police Chief Sean Ferguson said he spoke to reporters after arriving at the shooting scene with New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell. Fox A said the boy, Devontae Bryant, was just days away from celebrating his 10th birthday when he was killed. He died of a gunshot wound to the head. Devontae Bryant, they say he was an energetic child. He had fun, he always smiled, just full of life. The whole neighborhood knows him. He's by everybody. Everybody loved him. He's just a good child. The boy's father, Donald Brown, told the station. First, I want to say this. My condolences is to Devontae Brown, family and friends. Most definitely. You know, everybody here at Fishbowl Radio Network, we send our condolences to y'all. Most definitely. See, this is the problem that I'm talking about. In our community, a nine-year-old little boy in New Orleans get killed. In our community, days away from his birthday, turning 10, 10 years old. Think about it, I got a little boy who's 40 years old. This, this little boy was just 10, not even scratched the surface right. of life. And black and brown in the neighborhood just shooting pistols at each other like it's fun for colors, for territory and money, making money. And BLM, y'all in front and center about that. He said the, uh, the police said that the shootings happened soon after uh, he came back from the store uh, with Devontae, his dad said. The two other shoot victims were a 15-year-old uh, who was shot in the stomach and a 13-year-old boy who was shot in the leg. Police released a photo of a white Jeep Wrangler they said was involved. Investigators believe that at this time that the, of the incident, the vehicle was occupied by three subjects who were dressed in dark clothing, hoodies, and face masks, police said. The vehicle was being driven without a license plate, they said. Now listen to this. No suspects caught. No suspects caught. There's a lot of people out there. Right. You know, a lot of you black and brown idiots who believe this. No snitching. Right. Do y'all believe in no snitching on that? This is a nine-year-old boy who's just going to turn 10. Imagine being that boy father having to make that statement about his little son. Imagine that 13 and that 15-year-old little one of them kids who was shot because black and brown folks are killing each other in the community. That's a way bigger problem than you be a little activist trying to preach about a couple of white officers, which is horrific. Do this to a couple of brown and people. We got hundreds of people. Black and brown people dying in the community every day. 
of violence in the Big Apple. The Vail Gardner Jr. had been sitting in his stroller at the sidewalk gathering in Brooklyn when two men, when two men dressed in black fired a number of shots at the group before fleeing the scene. Gardner was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead a short time later, police said. A one-year-old little boy sitting in his stroller. And you be out there, garbage people. And all you actors, you, 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 you superstar celebrities, sports people. Y'all ain't never stuck in front line for that. And they killing each other in their own damn community. Talk to me about it. no BLM. Who? What? I don't represent that. I denounce that. Because black and brown is killing each other. They said this about the Phil Gardner Jr. He was the joy of my life. The infant's grandmother, Samantha Gardner, told the New York Daily News. I just got the call saying my grandson was shot. All the grandmamas at her. All the grandmamas at her who probably had your first grandchild. Imagine getting that call because these black and brown idiots at her shoot each other up for nothing. Not giving a damn. They got them like they just shooting. Pally up. Just fake tail guns and killing one year old. Oh, grandmothers, imagine that. What be on that movement on this? Why would everybody on this? Don't talk to me. And make something about a couple of white officers who did a horrific crime. Talk about Black Lives Matter. When do Black Lives Matter? When a couple of white cops kill a couple of brown and black folks? What about when the numbers show it's in an enormous count where they're killing each other? The others who were shot at the cookout are expected to survive, police said. A 27-year-old man was hit in the ankle, a 35-year-old man was shot in the groin, and a 36-year-old man took a bullet in the leg, police said. They need to stop the gun violence. I feel like this. You are all ranting and raving about black lives, but you take a life that was only a year and a half old, and it's not fair. It's not fair. To the grandparents, it's not fair to the mother, it's not fair to the father, it's not fair to the whole family in general. And guess what? Guess what, Bob? No arrests have been made, and an investigation is ongoing, authorities said. The deadly shooting came in another violent weekend in New York City. Black and brown. Crimes. Who's gonna step up? Who's gonna step up and, and do the right thing? Well, well, we, we need to talk about this. Cause Mr. All TV and Mr. Two One Four, we're on YKHD Radio. We're gonna take a decision. We're talking about this. That BLM garbage. 